Hello everyone and welcome to Thirsty's Live. Today we are talking about storing cloth diapers long term. So I have a couple of storage ideas here for you and did you know that you could actually store your cloth diapers right in a Thirsty's Pail Liner? So we are actually going to give one of these away on Facebook and one of these away on Instagram. So I'm just, I'm showing you a couple of storage ideas here and then we'll talk through just some of the basic steps before you actually store your diapers and then yeah. That'll hopefully this will be a helpful chat for you. All right, so thank you guys so much for joining us. My name is Laura. I'm Thirsty Social Media Coordinator. And every Friday we go live on Facebook. And we usually talk about either a Thirsty's product or we share just some general cloth diapering tips. But this one has been requested in the Thirsty's groupie. So we have a Facebook group that just for our customers, it's a closed Facebook group. So you do have to request to join and then you have to answer a question about your interest in cloth diapers. But we've got some mamas there who have kiddos that have outgrown some duo wraps or I think there are a couple that are um, potty training. So this is hopefully a helpful topic for them. Hopefully it's helpful to you. Just kind of clearing things out of the way for me. All right, so it actually is not that complicated storing cloth diapers long term, okay? There are a couple of things that you just need to be aware of and here are the main things cleanliness of your diapers before and during storage, moisture control, temperature control, and protecting your diapers from the elements or any kind of pests or critters, okay? So let's first talk about cleanliness. Okay, so I have a couple of old, retired, thirsty diapers that I've been storing. And honestly, if you're just storing your diapers in a closet or in a place where it's temperature controlled, you're not worried about pests, even just a cardboard box, or over on that setup, I had a canvas bag Something that is open like this is just fine. Um, so I know, so Nicole was saying we they just day trained and it's sad to store your diapers. It is sad. Um, it's very bittersweet when you're uh, packing away your cloth diapers. And I don't think disposable families say that. Oh, I'm so sad that my kids aren't gonna have their wonderful diapers anymore. Only a cloth diaper family will say that, right? Right. Um, oh, I did mention the giveaway. So this is a flash giveaway uh, for a Thirsty's Pale Liner because this is actually a handy way to store your cloth diapers. Um, to enter this, all you need to do is comment on this Facebook Live. So if you're watching the repost and it's before, oh, what's the date on Monday? Before January 14th, you can head over to Facebook and enter the giveaway there. I'm also going to post an image of a Thirsty's Pale Liner on our Instagram. And if you wanna enter on Instagram, you'll need to find that post, but I haven't posted it yet, so don't look for it until after the live video, okay? So, let's talk about cleanliness. Anything, time sets in whatever's in your diapers, okay? So before storing your diapers, you want to make sure that they are thoroughly cleaned, that they are thoroughly dried. Anything that is in your diapers, 
um, whether it's odor or staining, that is going, time will set that in and amplify it even, especially if it's smell. So for example, I highly recommend that you wash your diapers before storing them in an unscented detergent, okay? It wouldn't necessarily, especially if you suspect any kind of a buildup inside your diaper, it honestly wouldn't be a bad idea to strip your stash before storing them. Obviously, if you're doing something like a duo wrap, let me grab a duo wrap, okay? Stripping obviously wouldn't be important with some kind of a diaper cover, right? But any kind of absorbency, um, you're, you're going to want to make sure that it's thoroughly clean. Um, sunning before storing is a really great idea because it'll lighten up any stains that you might have. And sunning is also a fabulous way to disinfect. And... Okay, it's winter time here in the States, but you can actually put your drying rack in front of a window and even diffuse sunlight through a window will help, okay? We have a couple of Thirsty's Live videos about staining, so if you have a stain and you want to lighten it, one really great tip is to make a solution that's equal parts lemon juice and water put it on the affected area and let it sit for at least 10 minutes, then wash. That'll help lighten up the stain. If the stain isn't lightened to your liking, what you can do is after you've done that and washed it, don't put it in the dryer, leave it wet, reapply that solution and try sunning with the solution on. And that works for the inner part the interior of your diaper. That stain tip also works for if you have white um, gussets that need lightening up, okay? So, um, oh, Eva uh, Marie is saying she's even had luck leaving her diapers near her houseplant light. That's a great tip. Um, wow, I wouldn't have thought that. So, okay, cleanliness. Make sure it's thoroughly clean. Now let's talk about moisture. You have got to make sure your diapers are thoroughly, thoroughly dried before storing them, okay? So any anything that has waterproofing or elastic, you can put in the dryer on low. That's fine, okay? And I honestly, you can, you can air dry your stash, of course, but, um, oh, the solution. So someone was asking about the stain solution. It's just equal parts lemon juice, water, and you can just spray it on, um, on the affected stain, the stained area, okay? And then you spray it, leave for 10 or so minutes before washing, and that should help. All right. So I would recommend if you know you have a dryer to just dry your things on low just to make sure everything is thoroughly dried before you store them because moisture, you do not want mildew to be getting into your precious stored diapers. I mean, you really don't. Another thing too, is if you have a hook and loop diaper, that's just the cloth diaper speak for Velcro or Aplex, okay? So if you have a hook and loop, you're gonna want to, before storing, make sure that they're on the laundry tabs like this, okay? And really, it doesn't matter if they're, you know, you can just lay them flat like that Actually, if you don't want your diapers to like see you here, this has been stored kind of folded nice like that, but this is, that that's not such a big deal, but probably if I were to restore this beautiful Billy Buttons diaper, I would probably just lay it in whatever storage I'm using just flat like that. 
small thing, really. Um, almost lost 12 diapers to improper storing, Ashton is saying, with your older kids seven years ago. Oh, how'd that turn out for you? Oh, man. Yeah. You know, the thing is, though, if, if it's an elastic thing that happened, that's fixable. Um, there are repair folks that replace elastics or I mean if you're crafty you can replace elastics as well but yes that'll yeah that's why we do this live so you have these tips now okay so one thing that you can do for moisture control especially if you live in a humid climate is before putting this into whatever container you're using wrap the diaper in tissue paper. Tissue hate paper will help moisture control if you're in a humid environment, okay? So, yeah, you had to replace some elastic. So yeah, just wrap it in tissue paper and that, that'll help moisture control, okay? So I can even just put that. Okay, there you go. Now, Another thing that's important with the moisture and the temperature and all of that is air circulation, okay? So you'll notice that, maybe, and I'll take another field trip, all of these examples that I have here allow for airflow. Packing cubes are actually a fabulous way to store cloth diapers. Now, airflow is important for elastics. I don't know if you've stored like baby clothes in a rubber bin, but then you open it up and the elastics have rotted. Even you could fill it in a bag, guys. Okay, this here, I just took a basket and people who love retired prints are just gonna gush over this guy. <laughs> It's got a lot of pretty stuff. Anyways, I have a basket here and you could just wrap it with this bamboo blanket and even you could tie it underneath and that would be um, fine. Do you store with the pockets? I, I would, you know what I would do? Let me show you, I've got I have stored with my pockets stuffed and it's really not not a big deal but um, what I would do is cuz you if you have your pocket diaper overstuffed that might put a little tension on the elastics so what I would do is just store them how we ship them so you could take the insert and just lay it on top like this and then just fold it okay like that you know so there's no there's no pressure on the elastics or anything like that um or you could just unstuff all of your pockets and just have a pile of liners and a pile of the shells Okay, so airflow is really important for the health of the elastics. Okay, so as much as possible, if you can find a place inside your home where you can, you don't have to worry about anything getting into your diapers and avoid those rubber tubs that really, I think my personal favorite, um, is the packing cube. Yeah, so Amy here is saying she had hers in a plastic bin but recently moved them to a packing cube. I think that is gonna be the best way to preserve the elastics. But like I said, if your elastics go, I mean, you know, time, things, time has its effect, right? <laughs> and so if time does has its effect on your elastics, that that's okay, you can replace your elastics. All right, 
So another thing too with airflow is you want to pack things loosely, okay? See this shoe box here? My diapers can move. They're not so tightly packed that they can't shuffle a little bit when I move the container. That's gonna be really helpful as well, okay? So another thing too with elastics and also with waterproofing that's really important is temperature control. Do not store your diapers in an attic if you live in an area that has fluctuating temperatures, which I think nowadays that just means if you live on planet Earth, <laughs> don't store your diapers in the attic because large temperature shifts are really difficult on elastics. Freezing temperatures can crack your the waterproofing, the... TPU laminate, okay? So temperature control is really important, all right? Another thing too that you wanna keep in mind is protecting from the, the elements. Oh good, someone's got their newborns packed in a cardboard box and they don't have room to shift around. Oh yeah, so you'll wanna maybe get another cardboard box and allow some space for them to move. Yep, air circulation also equals, they literally need breathing room. So just pack them in nice little pieces of tissue paper, put them loosely in a box, you should be okay to go. Um, oh, in a pillowcase stored in the basement. If um, your basement is temperature controlled, you're probably fine. Now, another thing, um, oh, we've got one of our retailers watching us. Hi, Stephanie from Cloth Diaper Kids. Thanks for tuning in. Share this live on your page. Hopefully this is helpful for your customers. Another thing that is helpful is, especially if you're worried about critters or whatnot, is putting something in your storage container like lavender. That helps repel rodents or anything that might be interested in making a nest in your cloth, right? Um, so a little satchel, sachet of lavender is going to help. Um, oh, I've got my mom saying, if you live in an area where mice try to come in the fall, put them in a container that cannot be chewed through. Well, that's true. So you've got to, you've, it's hard though, because you also don't want, you need airflow as well. So maybe what this is, is even if you do live in an area where rodents are going to be in trouble, um, you might want to just check on your storage every once in a while. Is there a specific life expectancy for cloth? Um, Kiara is asking. That's a really great question. And so here is the official word. Thirsty's cloth diapers are designed to fit, not designed to fit, designed to last through your baby's potty, like from birth to potty. Okay, that is what our diapers are made for. Honestly, I know from experience and other people can probably back me up that if you have a decent sized stash and if you take care of them properly, you can actually get your diapers to last. Um, you can get your diapers to last through multiple kids. Okay, so I'm saying that as I'm holding up, this guys is a really old diaper. It's like the tunnel design. This is what our all-in-ones used to look like. A like tunnel design, this is Scottish Storm, okay? But the elastics on this are still good. Um, I've, we used to make our all-in-ones in sizes. So this is a size two all in one. Yes. So my mom there, Mary Hershey is saying, yes, don't put them in the garage. Yep. Careful with basement for temperature control. Do not store them in attics. Yep. There you go. But 
If you've been storing your diapers for over a year, there, you, you know, there might be a little bit of compromising happening with the elastics. It just kind of depends on your storage. Okay. So, and it's really, it's just, it's a hard thing to say for everyone, but so, so Nikki is saying just had her fourth baby and now you need to replace most of your elastics. She's been using them for six years. And here's the thing though, elastics, that's not a big deal. Um, but you can replace elastics. What you can't really fix is the lamination, okay? So if the TPU is uh, waterproofing is cracked, there really isn't a fix for that. You can certainly repurpose the material and actually we've got some groupies that do adorable things with old cloth diapers or cloth diapering um, uh, scraps okay but yeah you gotta protect your diapers you gotta protect the waterproofing so that's basically it everyone I gave you a couple of storage ideas um, if you're not so concerned about everything being, you know, nicely, nicely in a row, you could literally take a pale liner and just put your cloth in your pale liner and this, you know, it'll be loosely pa packed. Take this here and... This will protect it from other stuff, but this is a breathable pale liner. There you go. You know, put that in a closet. Perfect. So that's how you store cloth diapers long term. Get them clean. Make sure they're nice, clean, and dry. Watch where you're storing them. Be sure it's moisture controlled and temperature controlled and airflow. Allow for airflow. Be careful about where you store them. You don't want little critters to come in and make nests in your cloth because that would be gross. We want our babies to poop on our diapers, not mice, right? Right. Um, for that, you can get a little satchel with um, cedar, a cedar block or some lavender, put it in a little satch. Is that how you say it? Satchet? I hope I'm saying that right. But there you go. And then you can use your adorable cloth on your next Thirsty's baby. Or if that doesn't happen, you can resell it or you can gift it to someone. There you go. And so think I'm gonna sign off for now guys I'll be on Instagram live on Instagram in a little bit thank you so much for joining us for Thirsty's Live don't forget to tag a friend who you think would maybe like to win a wet bag and if this has been helpful to you be sure to give this video a thumbs up be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel or subscribe to be notified on Facebook when we go live because the conversation is a lot more interesting with you guys here. So we appreciate you joining us and we'll see you next week on Thursday's Live. Take care, everyone.